Excelsior by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. The shades of night were falling fast, as through an alpine village passed, a youth who bore mid snow and ice a banner with the strange device, Excelsior. His brow was sad, the eye beneath flashed like a falchion from its sheath, and like a silver clarion rung the accents of that unknown tongue, Excelsior. In happy homes he saw the light of household fires gleam warm and bright. Above the spectral glaciers shone, and from his lips escaped a groan. Excelsior. Try not the pass, the old man said. Dark lowers the tempest overhead. The roaring torrent is deep and wide. And loud that clarion voice replied, Excelsior. Oh, stay, the maiden said, and rest thy weary head upon this breast. A tear stood in his bright blue eye, but still he answered with a sigh, Excelsior. Beware the pine tree's withered branch, beware the awful avalanche. This was the peasant's last good night. A voice replied far up the height, Excelsior! At break of day, as heavenward, the pious monks of St. Bernard uttered the oft-repeated prayer, a voice cried through the startled air, Excelsior! A traveler by the faithful hound, half buried in the snow, was found, still grasping in his hand of ice that banner with the strange device, Excelsior. There in the twilight, cold and gray, lifeless but beautiful, he lay, and from the sky, serene and far, a voice fell like a falling star, Excelsior.